Okay, so we're going to be looking at um, question 1b part 2 from the 2014 National 5 Physics paper. And it starts uh, by saying one of the lamps now develops a fault and stops working. What effect this has on the other lamp state? What effect this has on the other lamp? And you must justify your answer. So it's worth two marks. So that'll be one mark for the effect and the other mark for the justification. Now, um, let's have a look back at the circuit diagram to see what could possibly um, be wrong. It, let's say that this lamp here is the one that develops a fault. Maybe the filament wire melts and the bulb blows, and so no current can travel through this lamp. However, because the second lamp is in parallel with everything else in the circuit, current can still travel down through this lamp and back up uh, to the supply. And so this lamp will effectively be unaffected. Um, the way that it's written in the marking scheme is that it can remain lit, it stays on, it stays the same brightness, um, or it's not affected. So one of the other possible answers that's given in the marking scheme is that it gets brighter. Now that's um, possible but unlikely really to, to take place. Um, it may get brighter, and the reason for that is that we've now got um, three, instead of having... Uh, three resistors effectively in the circuit, all of different um, uh, values, we now only have two resistors. And so the overall resistance in the circuit has decreased. And so the amount of current drawn from the supply will increase, and that will affect um, potentially the brightness of the um, bulb at the bottom. Um, so that's the answer nothing really is affected and the rationale the justification i would say the key justification here is that because it's in parallel and um, that's the important point here because this is in parallel um, it's not going to be affected um, you could there are other things that the marking scheme uh, states uh, it says that the current has a path to go through the other lamp that's correct um, it also says that the um, uh, the voltage across this lamp is the same as it was before, which is correct because it's connected to 12 volt, and it says that the lamps are in parallel. And that's the most important point, really. Because these lamps are in parallel, it doesn't matter that this one has blown. If that one were in series with this, then of course, it would be an entirely different matter. So the answer then, just to reiterate, is that um, the bulb remains lit. Okay. Um, and the rationale behind that, the justification, is that it is in parallel with the supply and the other um, resistor and bulb. Of course, bearing in mind the other thing that's true is you will not get the mark for this unless you give a justification, even if that justification is correct. Um, but if you get the effect correct, but you don't write any justification whatsoever, you will not get the mark um, for your um, for your correct statement. So that's the key thing to remember there, because when we look back here, it says you must justify your answer. No justification, regardless of correct or not, means you get no marks whatsoever. So something to remember when you're doing your, um, your exam yourself. If you're given a question like this, and it says you must justify your answer, and you're not sure how, well, just put an answer down. And at least that way, if your original answer is correct, you'll get a mark for it.